With Video Studio, you can create a wide range of masks on your video or image clips, enabling a range of different effects and results. Easily create text masks, or add text in behind the subject in a video clip to make it seem as if they're part of the clip, or use masks in conjunction with color grading or effects to draw attention to specific areas of your video clips. To get started with masks, first select the clip on the timeline that you want to mask, and then press the Mask Creator button. If you've selected a video clip, you'll have the option of making either video or still mask types. Still masks still contain video content, but the mask itself remains static over time. I'll choose Still Mask. We'll get to video masks shortly. The first thing to note when working with masks is to think about what it is you want to mask and what effect you want to achieve. Let's say I want to mask out everything in this clip apart from the subject in the center because I want to overlay this character onto a video clip later. So I just select a masking tool. This is how you'll paint your masked area onto your video clip. I want a circular mask tool, so select this, then just draw onto the image itself. I could add to the masked area by drawing additional circles or with any of the other masking tools. But this is perfect for what I want right now. Then, down in Editing Tools, I can move the mask around if I want to get its placement just right. And I'll also add some feathering. This blurs the edge of the mask to make it blend in with whatever we're going to put the result over. If I wanted to show the reverse of this mask, so everything but the subject in the center, I can just click Invert Mask. This can be useful if it's quicker to mask the things you don't want to keep. But in my case, I don't need an inverted mask, so I'll just press OK. Now I'm back on the timeline, and the clip I've been working on is duplicated onto the overlay track. To see the mask, you'll either need to turn off the main video track, delete the original clip, or move the new clip on the overlay track so that it's above a different clip. Now I can just change the size and position of the mask clip to get it where I want it. And now I have the effect of two friends video chatting whilst they're both on vacation, and it was really easy to do. Another type of still mask is a text mask. Let's mask this clip on the main video track by selecting the clip and then the mask creator. We'll select still mask again, and for our mask tool, we'll use the text mask and just write the text onto the clip. Edit your font and text size if you need. It's good to use a chunky font so that more of your video will be seen through the text mask. Then click outside of the mask to commit so that the mask turns blue. Fine-tune the position if you need to, then press OK. We'll turn off the main video track again so we can see the result. And this mask can be overlaid onto other video clips, just like our first mask, as all of the black shown around the mask is actually transparent. If we want to edit the mask now that we've seen it, just make sure the mask clip is selected and press the mask tool once again. And you'll be able to edit some parameters like position or feather or even add to the mask itself. Let's try inverting the mask so that when we go back to the timeline, the text is masked, but the rest of the clip is still shown. And now, with this fireworks clip that I have on another overlay track, we can drag this in so that it sits underneath our mask. So it appears the lettering is now actually made of fireworks. Let's look at video masks now. These are masks that change over time based on the content of the video clip that you want to mask out. Things can start to get quite complicated quickly here, as we'll be using the mask tracker and multiple overlay tracks, along with the original video track. So think about what you're trying to achieve and plan it out to save yourself having to redo a bunch of work down the line. The clip I want to use here is of this lady next to a waterfall. And as the clip progresses, she spins around I have this text with customized motion applied so that it moves from the right of the screen, but I want the text to appear from behind her as she starts to spin. So I need to create a mask that extends from the left edge of her jacket to the right hand edge of the clip. We know we won't need to mask her jacket or anything else once the text is past the jacket, so let's split the video clip right at this point. Then select the first part of the resulting clips. Select Mask Creator then make sure Video Mask is selected. We could just paint a mask on with a paintbrush, but Video Studio also has a smart brush that looks for edges, so let's clear this mask and start again. 
decrease the brush size for when you're closer to the edges of what you want to keep and adjust edge tolerance to help the smart brush out. Higher edge tolerance will mean that only colours that are very close to the original colour that is under your cursor when you start drawing will be included in the mask. And lower edge tolerance will be less strict and let in colours that are further away from your original sample. Just play around with the settings as you draw your mask and if you make a mistake, just use the Smart Eraser brush, which works in exactly the same way. In this case, I just need to track the edge of her jacket, so once I have that looking pretty good, I can draw a rectangle to fill in the right edge of the video clip. Now I need to track this mask so that it moves with her jacket. I can detect movement to just the next frame, or to a specified time code, or right to the end of the clip. I'll try this option. Video Studio will try and track the mask across all of the frames. You'll see at this point why we split this clip up before entering the mask creator, as we only want to mask as few frames as possible. We'll have to do a bit of manual mask alteration at each frame, so I'll speed up during this part. But what I'm basically doing is erasing the mask where it's spilled over off of her jacket and making sure as much of her jacket is actually masked in each frame as possible. Then click OK and our masked section is added to the overlay track. In this instance, we want the text to be between the original clip and the masked overlay clip. So if we move the masked clip down to overlay track 2 and then move the text onto overlay track 1, we should have what we're looking for. If there's any imperfections in the mask, just jump back into Mask Creator on the overlay clip. Find the frames with the faults and adapt your mask. Let's look at one more video mask. We can use masks in conjunction with effects, and in this case, I'm going to mask the subject's face in this clip to add more brightness to it, whilst leaving the rest of the clip unaffected. Jump into Mask Creator, and this time, I don't need to be as precise with my masking. So I'll select a circular mask and draw a few circles to mark out her face. And then detect movement to the end of the clip. As the tracker is progressing, if you can see it's starting to miss parts of your mask off, you can cancel the tracker, adjust your mask and then carry on from the same frame that you stopped at. It should help as you'll have less to manually adjust afterwards. In this case, I'll feather the mask a little as well to help my resulting effects blend nicely without having to do too much manual mask editing. Then, after pressing OK to go back to the timeline, we can double-click the masked overlay track and go to Colour. I want to make the subject's face a little brighter to help draw attention to her, so I'll just nudge exposure up a touch and highlights as well. So, hopefully this gives you an understanding and some inspiration for how to use masks creatively in your projects. You can add all sorts of effects to masks, which can make some really interesting results. You can mosaic someone's face out by dragging the mosaic filter onto the overlay clip. Or leave the masked clip without effects and instead add effects onto the original clip. In this case, I'll try a glitchy colour shift effect. With Video Studio, the choice is yours. Time to get creative. Happy editing!